Could I, I make a statement sure. about national defense? Yeah. The biggest threat to America today is not communism. It's moving America toward a fascist theocracy. And everything that's happened during the Reagan administration is steering us right down that pipe. Oh, I'll Mr. Talk. Mr. Zappa, do you, yes, do, Mr. You, Zappa. do you really think? I mean, <laughs> I all, really kidding, think that. all kidding aside, in this country, with the permissiveness that we are moving toward a fascist theocracy, anything goes. You we are, but... You know, I mean, do you, do you think things like this would ever Give me that thing to smile again. When when we, when we were 20, 20, when we were kids, you're about my age, maybe a little 45. younger. Well, I'm 55. Do you think when, when I was a kid that they would permit songs like that to be sold? I mean, permissiveness is the game. I mean, well, exactly. I mean, you're not you're not really serious if you if you're saying we're going toward a fascist theocracy. <laughs> That's right, we are. Wait a minute. And what way? Give me give me well, one example. Wait 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 wait. wait. One, exa what, what? one example of a fascist Look. theocracy. When you have a government that prefers a certain moral code mm -hmm. derived from a certain religion and that moral code turns into legislation mm -hmm. to suit I'm, one well, certain well, religious well, point of view well, and if that code right. happens to be very very right wing almost toward well, until the hun well then you are an anarchist every form of civil government is based on some kind of morality frank morality in terms of behavior not well, of in course. terms of theology well of course but look i mean i couldn't believe in your john, hearing john, in your okay. hearing. i have an addendum today the real looting in this country takes place in the transfer of the wealth from the poor to the rich. I'm sorry that you don't like class and the truth, my friend, but you're just stuck with it. I'm bad. Class I'm bad. Bad. And the poor have been systematically looted in this country. The rich have been made richer under this criminal fascist president and his government. <laughs> awesome. 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 George, George you, I think you know, do you know what fascism is? Fascism you know what fascism is? America, yeah. Where yeah. Nazis where, are? Not where, no, wait, yeah. sir, wait, sir. You know when fascism comes you know to America, it will are. not be in brown and black shirts. It will not be with jack boots. It will be Nike sneakers and smiley shirts. Smiley, smiley. The, the, the fascism... Germany lost the Second World War. Fascism won it. Believe and actually, me, my fascism is when corporations become the government. Yes. And that's sort of what we have. I told you guys, the holiday season is nothing but lies and bullcrap. Well, how was it? It was a fake. Oh, I'm sorry. Carmen was right. The holiday season is for idiots. Where did you go, Uncle Charlie? I went to a beauty parlor and had my tattoo redone. Look. Oh, that's pretty cool. Hey, where's Kenny? Oh, he's around. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, hey, Kenny. Come on, I'll buy you kids an orange smoothie. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, there he is. That's Charlie Manson. <laughs> What the American people must never forget is that when fascism comes to America, it will come wrapped in an American flag. And that's something that I have never forgotten. Because that's the problem that we face today. And we have to be very open about this. What are we facing? We're facing the road to fascism. And when we understand that, millions and millions of American people We'll stand up and we'll fight for the elementary preservation of the American system of government. Because, you know, I, I, what prompts this is things like the Patriot Act. You know, let me go wait, back. No, no, if you're not a patriot... But let me they, go back to this ad. You do not believe that Mike Huckabee, that ad commercial, re represents the potential of fascism in the form of a cross. No, but I think this country, a movement in the last hundred years, is moving toward fascism. Fascism today, the softer term, because people have different definitions of fascism, is corporatism, where the military industrial complex runs the show. When they, uh, in the name of security, pay, pay, uh, pass the Patriot Act, you don't vote for it. You know, you're not, a, you're not patriotic America. If you don't support the troops, you, uh, and you don't support, uh, uh, if you don't support the war, you don't support the troops. It's that kind of antagonism. But we have more corporatism, more abuse of our civil liberties, more loss of our privacy, national ID cards, all this stuff becoming has a fascist tone to it. And the country's moving in that direction. That's what I'm thinking about. This was not personalized. I never even used my opponent's names, if you, if you know. So you think we're close to fascism? I think we're approaching it very close. One, there's one, uh, there's one uh, documentary that's been put out recently that has generate a lot of interest called freedom to fascism and we're moving in that direction we're not moving toward hitler type fascism but we're moving toward a fat, softer fascism loss of civil liberties corporations running the show 
big government in bed with big business. So you have the military industrial complex, you have the medical industrial complex, you have the uh, financial industry, you have the communications industry. They go to Washington and spend hundreds of millions of dollars. That's where the control is. I call that a soft form of fascism, something that is very dangerous. How in schools? Schools train people to be ignorant with style. They give you the equipment that you need to be a functional ignoramus. American schools do not equip you to deal with things like logic. They don't give you the criteria by which to judge between good and bad in any medium or format. And they prepare you to be a usable victim for a military industrial complex that needs manpower. As long as you're just smart enough to do a job and just dumb enough to swallow what they feed you, you're going to be all right. But if you go beyond that, you're going to have these grave doubts that give you stomach problems, headaches, make you want to go out and do something else. So I believe that schools mechanically and very specifically try and breed out any hint of creative thought in the kids that are coming up.